Another strategy that Prophet Hud السلام, used is to remind them with something that they have. And this is something very, very important. When you're talking to someone that you really care about and you want them to do something important and you want to bring them back to the way of Allah Azza wa you have to talk to them in a way that they can relate. You tell them, Allah blessed you with money. That's why it's a blessing of Allah. And you need to help those who are less fortunate. They can relate to that. Allah blessed you subhanahu wa ta'ala with intellect. You see how you get all these mathematical equations so fast. Why you don't help others? They can relate. So Sayyidina Hud alayhi salam, he told them, Allah blessed you after Nuh alayhi salam. جَعَلَكُمْ خُلَفَاءَ مِنْ بَعْدِ قَوْمِ نُوح Look at what happened to the people of Nuh. And now Allah Azza wa Jal make you are the ones who are leaders and owners in this land. So that's one. So they can, he's doing two things here. He is uh, giving them an indirect warning that if you be like Qawm Nuh, you will end up like them. But if you use what Allah gave you and blessed you with another chance, then you are good and you are blessed. So he's giving them hope and invitation and at the same time indirectly warning them. Then he says, وَزَادَكُمْ فِي الْخَلْقِ بَسْطَةِ And Allah Azza wa Jal give you this extra ability than others, physical ability. Look at everybody else around you and look at yourself. You see yourself taller, stronger, more powerful, powerful, have stamina, have ability to do things. So remember that. And also here, there is an indirect warning that Allah can take that.